So quite a bit of rain over western Kentucky ongoing early this morning and here we are with overcast skies and a fairly quiet morning out there. Now you could have uh, some sprinkles, some isolated showers with that low cloud cover. I'm taking you back to two o'clock yesterday afternoon just to show you the progression of the storms that did fire up. We had a cluster of severe storms eastern counties. Second wave came through. But all the while, out of our western Kentucky, uh, these rounds of shower storms have been firing, refiring. These are called training cells. It's basically storms that fire and then fire back up again after the last storm goes through and go over the same area. So you just continue to get swamped. They've got ongoing severe thunderstorm warnings, but the bigger uh, threat has definitely been uh, from flash flooding. We're going to talk about that here in a second, but you've got this frontal boundary that's stalled out and a lot of that convection just uh, concentrated along it. 24 hour storm reports show wind damage, hail and as well uh, flooding, but the risk for severe weather today is actually dropping. Uh, we've got a marginal risk across western Kentucky cuts off here. Much of the bluegrass eastern northern counties aren't even under a risk, but then tomorrow we've got the slight to marginal risk back in place. This is going to be the last hurrah as a cold front sweeps through and gives us that chance for strong to severe storms Thursday. There's your old stalled boundary. We're not storm free today. We could see a few showers, thunder showers into the afternoon. They'll have to keep an eye on, but this is getting into early tomorrow morning. A round of storms, more widespread blows through. And then the better severe chances tomorrow as the front drops in. You can see these rounds of storms dropping south. That's where you get the best chance for wind damage, hail and heavy rain. But check it out. The cold front is actually pushing east. And believe it or not, it's going to clear the state, which means uh, we'll be set up for a fairly quiet run of days through the weekend. Now, as far as that rainfall goes, Lebanon, these are actual rain gauges, uh, actual reported amounts there. 1.7 inches out there, two and a half inches over at 2.6 in Shelbyville. So we've had these areas of just torrential rain, but nothing like what they're dealing with. Western Kentucky, as we zoom in a little bit. They've had six, seven inches over a half a foot of rain. These are radar estimates, but they've got ongoing water rescues from National Weather Service in Paducah out around Mayfield this morning. And remember, the rain's still falling out there. So uh, the flood watch is in effect. These are all flash flood warnings uh, across parts of southern Illinois and uh, in towards western Kentucky. And they could see additional heavy rain later on over the next uh, day and a half, two days. Look at that. Out towards Glasgow, a few inches of rain. We could be talking another inch or two. So we're not out of the woods until Thursday night when that cold front finally clears the Commonwealth. It's 70 degrees, dew point, still some muggy air in place. We're in the 60s for that. And highs stay generally in the 80s, mid to upper uh, all the way through the weekend. But we could see some heat cranking next week. Look at this, six to 10 day temperature outlook going to the end of the July. We just continue to see this expanding bubble of unbelievably hot conditions above normal temperatures. And even the bubble of around or below normal temperatures that was hanging here starts to go by the wayside. We're ticking slightly above normal. Quick update on the tropics. Old lonely tropical storm Dawn still meandering around way out in the Atlantic was a subtropical storm. It's been upgraded to a tropical storm and that's where we are on the list of names for this season. We're in the 80s today. A little brief break, just a few showers and storms around. Remember to stay weather aware tomorrow and then enjoy that upcoming weekend.